वेलकम टू धनक धनक में हम आज जिस शख्सियत से आपकी मुलाकात करा रहे हैं वो शख्सियत किसी तारीख की मोहताश नहीं है हर कंट्री की हर स्टेट की हर नेशन की अपनी एक लेजेंड होती है हमारी भी कुछ लेजेंड्स हैं हमारी भी कुछ ऐसी शख्सियत हैं जो कि लेजेंड्स बन चुकी हैं और वो ऐसी शख्सियत हैं जो कि प्रॉपर इन दम सेल्व दे आर इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड वन ऑफ दम इज मोन अख्तर असल कैसे हैं आप ठीक है आपके क्या हाल है जी अल्लाह का शुक्र है मेरे पास माइक लगा हुआ है जी और बड़ा मज़ा आ रहा है हमेशा की तरह बहुत लोगों से प्यार मिलता है यहाँ के पता चलता है कि हमको लोग कितना चाहते हैं कितना पसंद करते हैं अच्छा लगता है बहुत जी हाँ आज तो अल्लाह का शुक्र है यहाँ मयामी का जो शो है इट्स ऑल सोल्ड आउट सो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी मैं तो बहुत जगह पे गया आई बीन टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया फिजी आईलैंड जापान कीनिया साउथ अफ्रीका अमेरिका कैनेडा सऊदी अरेबिया बांग्लादेश इंडिया मस्कत बहरान कोवैत यू नेम द कंट्री इंग्लैंड एंड पूरा यूरोप You name the country, and I've been there. Oh my God! And everywhere you've had, I'm sure the same response. Well, yes. Uh, Alhamdulillah, a very good response is that because people love and like it, and we change them for them, and we entertain them. People love us, and we love them. We are so grateful to my Allah for being so kind to me. Because if He is so kind to me, 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 if He is so kind to कहाँ से शुरू हुआ वे डिड यू टेक यू स्टार्ट फ्राम आई स्टार्ट एज अ डिबेटर एंड दैट गॉट मी आउट ऑफ दिस स्टेज फ्राइट एंड देन स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली आई स्टार्ट इमिटेटिंग माई क्लास टीचर्स बिकॉज इन टू द फ्री पीरियड वी यूज टू गो एंड इमिटेट इम्प्रेशनाइज आर क्लास टीचर्स एंड वन फाइन आफ्टरनून आई वॉज डूइंग दैट एंड ऑल ऑफ अ सडन द टीचर इन द एबसेंस ऑफ माई टीचर एंड ऑल ऑफ अ सडन दीचर वॉक डन सो आई वॉज got red handed and uh, i had nothing to say so i thought that i'm going to get a good beating because i was in 7th standard then oh, so okay. i thought that i'm going to get a good beating and uh, i might be rusticated even from the school but it never happened so um, the class teacher kept quiet and then he asked take out your books and blah 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 and during the interval then he called me and he said ke bhai jo kuch tum kar rahe the i felt very good about it oh wow and, and, and i want you to do it in front of me then i was very embarrassed and i said <laughs> sir please forgive me i asked for a pardon and i was uh, given a pardon by my teacher but anyway that's how i started this i never started as a professional i never wanted to pick up this profession as a profession in fact you can say that my hobby turned into my profession this was basically your hobby yes yes So how how did you, where did you start from? I, mean, I started from a stage, yes. and uh, that was stage is still my lust, or my abhi bhi bara lust leta hu. I I I am so contented when I perform. Uh, Because you get direct. Yes, motivation. of course. You you get, you get a, uh, of course. Your... Interaction is very spontaneous. Exactly. You see? So uh, I still love stage, and this is the reason I couldn't come out of it. Though I don't want to do this stuff anymore. uh flying for miles and miles and hours and hours and just keep on flying flying and i think this itself is an addiction isn't it it turns uh, into an addiction you see once you get used to certain things then your body is tuned to certain kind of travels and um, i have 13 passports all filled up and i have to i'm looking forward for a 14th one wow, wow. so i'm an extensive traveler Excellent. so बताएंगे Basically, it was inspired by Tootsie, mm-hmm. and that particular role was performed by Dustin Hoffman. Oh, okay. And then I was to do that role. Um, so then I disguised myself as a woman, 
and I think uh, that the newspapers they they wrote that I've done an amazing job. No, I, I definitely think you did justice to the play itself. Uh, I still remember. It's not the time talking about myself. It's what the newspapers says. Dawn or some 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 newspaper. I don't remember. They wrote that uh, Dustin Hoffman is hell of an actor, but so is Ava Moin. Oh, it really? It is. It is more so than a compliment to I me. Definitely yes. So. yes. I definitely think so. And um, okay, now let's come back to your childhood. Let's start right from the scratch. I was a very very shy person, and uh, still I am. And uh, you are a shy person. I'm a very I shy. I refuse to believe that. By nature, honestly speaking, I'm a very shy person by nature. And when the lights are on, then I'm totally a different person. Uh, a person who is witty, a person who is spontaneous, a person who tries to a funny, a person who is funny. It, it is all in order to entertain our people. You see, I, we are the toys of these people. Exactly. They play with us. They, you see, when a small child, when he comes across an excellent toy and. Uh, He's so happy, you see, toy of his own choice. Exactly. So we are the toys of uh, the choice of people. Exactly. And this is the reason. And I think the people are the ones who mold you, right? Yeah. I mean, they, whatever they... So, so I feel very happy. So I was a very shy person by nature. I, and I am. And but now this stage has given me a lot of confidence. What's up here? Humor, this, uh, this witty quality and the humor you got and the confidence you got. Who did you get it from? Who do you think is responsible for it? Uh, no, well, did anybody motivate you? Did anybody inspire you in your life? Look, uh, inspiration is always there. Exactly. You cannot, you cannot carry on without an inspiration. You can't drive a car without an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Your teacher, your tutor or your master who teaches you to drive becomes your inspiration. Exactly. So I am being, I was inspired by so many actors and so many uh, legends of show business. Uh, and um, I'm inspired by so many people, but then uh, inspiration does not mean that you imitate some people. Inspiration that you get best out of everybody and do something of your own. Exactly. So that that what that's what inspiration is. And um, okay, that's about your profession and everything. But about from your family, who is the who who is one person who really backed you and you think it was responsible? All the well, nobody, nobody backed me up. Uh, I come from a society where show business is show business used to be condemned a lot. Really? I come from an orthodox family. They never wanted me to become an actor or get into show business. They wanted me to study, do my bar at law, and become a barrister. Exactly. Okay. And um, I wish if I would have gone into that <laughs> profession. They said that you would have been equally successful in that. You profession. would have, but do you re do you have any regrets about it? Uh, well, no, not exactly. You I see. Don't uh, think so. A lawyer would have been very well known in the four walls of the courtroom. Exactly. But you see, I am known uh, internationally. Exactly. So that gives you more pleasure. Exactly. So I do not uh, regret myself for not getting into that profession. How do you feel? How do you feel to be? How do you feel to know that you've become immortal? You know, I mean. No, I don't. You're uh, not no, there, immortal. You, you see, immortal. Be there. No, no. I, uh, I tell you, I am not immortal. You see, uh, the point is. We all have to go away from this world. And people, they do remember you, but they remember you time to time. They don't remember you all the time. Your loved ones, you, you, you get rid of your loved ones. They pass away, your loved ones part from you. And then uh, you, you know, at some time you feel pain about their uh, absence. absence, but then, then the life must go on and the show must go on. So it doesn't I matter. I, I, I guess that's your your point of view. But basically, comedians basically comedians are very serious people. You see, comedy itself is a very serious subject, and it has to be done very seriously. Exactly. So we we take life very seriously, and we talk reality most of the time. What's up, what do you think is that one thing that really helped you in your profession? Was it the experience, or was it your education background? It's the rainy days. It was the hunger, it was poverty, which taught me so much. I come from a very poor family, very poor family. And uh, we used to be hand to mouth. And I being the eldest of my family, I had to jump into a practical life at a very early stage. I was 15 years old then, when I had to earn bread and butter for the survival of my family. 
So that taught me so much how to live, how to talk, how to behave. I am arrogant at times when I feel the pain of that hunger and when I come across a millionaire and if I see his misbehaves, then I am very arrogant. Then that angry young man of 15 years old comes out. So these things have taught me so much. I am, what do you call it in Urdu, you call it Kundan. I have burned myself so much that I have turned into a massive kind of a jewel, you see, exactly. a polished jewel. So, so basically it's that, that experience and the hunger for more and the emotions that is, that is, that you that that is true. That because you see, if you have sufferings, then you find out the ways. You're right. When there is will, then we, you have sufferings, you have will. When you have your will, you, you have your way. And then you have your way, then you start working for it. And then you try and achieve your goal. You're right. So you, mashallah, you've come so it's such a long way, and we wish you. I am. I am all. I am all. I have all surrendered and submitted. It's a submission to my Lord Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, my Almighty, uh, that uh, He has granted me everything what I wish. I wear good clothes. I drive a fine car. I live in an excellent house. Alhamdulillah. And everything He has blessed me with everything. Very popular and blah 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 blah.